All right, well, should we cancel sugar? Sugar is one of the most popular food ingredients as we get one of probably the worst for us. Americans now eat an average of over 100 pounds every single year. How did things get here today? We're going to take a look at that. Hey guys, I'm Dr. Sean Baker and you know, the black guy's getting a little better. Again, that's from jujitsu guys. A vegan didn't get me. <laughs> Back in 2011, the United Nations stated that for the very first time, chronic disease posed a greater health burden worldwide than does infectious disease. This is basically a food problem, meaning that we're just eating garbage and getting so fat we're getting all these chronic diseases. It's the first time in the last, you know, 15 years this happened. An article in Nature outlined how sugar consumption has tripled worldwide in the last 50 years. Tripled. According to the UN, FAO, the average person in the United States consumes 600 calories a day. 600 calories a day just from sugar. Now, sugar did not much occur in, in human history for 99.9% .9 of human existence. Now, outside of perhaps some seasonal fruit and a little bit of honey from time to time, we didn't really have access to high amounts of sugar. In fact, humans were apex predators uh, for at least 2 million years, meaning that we you know, basically hunted, killed, and ate meat. By the 1500s to about the 1800s, sugar had become a tremendously profitable commodity and people in the U.S. ate it up. Sugar actually has a very disturbing history, which isn't much discussed. Now, sugar was historically part of what was called the triangle trade. Now, this triangle trade involves ships coming from Africa carrying slaves to the Americas and also in areas such as the Bahamas and Haiti. Sugar was then produced on these islands and then transported to New England and rum and other goods from America were shipped over to Africa or Europe. So you could say that sugar only grew because of the slave trade. Now, even today, places like Haiti and the Dominican Republic have still not recovered from this sort of situation. The growing and harvesting of Dominican sugar cane is done almost entirely by laborers from Haiti. Sugar farming is also very bad for the environment. In places like Florida, sugar uh, is mechanically harvested. This part of the Florida coast suffers from toxic green algae caused by fertilizer runoff from the sugar production. This comes out of Lake Okeechobee into the ocean where it pollutes it. You might wonder, what's the connection uh, to sugar? To the left of me, I have just miles upon miles, acres upon acres of sugar cane. And on the right, I have the Herbert Hoover Dyke, and that holds back all of the water from Lake Okeechobee. So what's causing the algae problem? In a word, phosphorus, a key ingredient in fertilizer. So when the vegans tell you that plants are better for the environment, you will know that this is BS right away. The runoff from the fertilizer alone causes massive toxic algae blooms that basically kill everything. Now let's look at the health problems of that 600 calories a day of sugar consumption. For one thing, sugar leads to overeating. It's not just that sweets taste good, but sugar itself inhibits satiety so that you remain hungry. Now, sugar also uh, can promote inflammation. So what do you get when you combine inflammation with excess calories from sugar? Well, you get obesity. Sugar sweetened beverages like soda are some of the worst culprits out there. Uh, and inflammation with excess calories can lead to, well, you guessed it, type 2 diabetes. So to review, sugar is wrapped up in everything from slavery to pollution to type 2 diabetes as well as obesity. Is a donut really worth it? Is a can of Coke really worth this? The sugar industry is so big that it actually paid off researchers to shift the blame for disease from sugar to saturated fat almost 50 years ago. This is now regarded as historic fact, and you can look at the increase in obesity and diabetes in the last 50 years to see the effect. So there you go, sugar is very bad for you, it's bad for the environment, just like any other monocrop plant agriculture driving pollution and death. Should we perhaps cancel sugar because of its connection to slavery? Uh, but instead, saturated fat took the blame for rising disease rates because the researchers were paid off. So do your part, skip that sugar and eat a steak. Okay, if you'd like to see how risky it is to eat a vegan diet, click here to see our video about Catwoman and breaking bones as a vegan. Guys, thanks for watching. Uh, we'll see you on the next one. Take care.